welcome or welcome back to my channel you guys before we get into this weekly vlog i want to tell y'all that the video is kind of choppy i told y'all i've been having camera problems well the time is now i'm gonna have to buy another camera because i didn't buy the insurance for my camera and then i've been talking to sunny and basically what my camera is doing is like it's malfunctioning like it's not functioning right it's deleting my clips so a lot of my videos from this vlog got deleted like and it sucks because i always aim to be over an hour but we're not meeting our, our, our we're not meeting that threshold this week and that's okay but like it just sucks because i feel like i work so hard and then crazy stuff always just happened to me but it's okay this vlog is a little bit all over the place but as always thank y'all for showing up thank y'all for tuning in and guess where i am y'all i'm in our space i'm in the babe cave i should have put i should have put um like stuff on the registry for the babe cave i did not think about the babe cave when i was making my registry so i don't have nothing to go up here and that's okay piece by piece we're gonna get it right let me show y'all what it's giving right now before we get into this video nephews are up here cj actually assembled my vanity upside down so he's gonna fix this later today so the lights yeah. that are on the bottom are supposed to be up top hey step back this is the vanity i love it y'all have to find me a chair to put here like that would have been something to put on the registry why did not i think it is i don't know but i'm gonna go shopping i'm probably gonna go to home goods monday or tuesday and i'm trying to find me a chair i did get my couch to go up here i need to get me some pillows and like a cute little blanket to put on this couch i think for the theme up here we're gonna do gray white and like gray white pink and gold so all the knobs that are on okay so all the knobs that are on my vanity i'm gonna take them off replace them with gold i got a rug up here it's a huge space it's not together at all i'm gonna fix this rug i'm gonna turn it the opposite way i'm gonna move this couch over i call my tv man and i set an appointment for next thursday which is crazy because i don't even have a tv to go up here yet i'm gonna try to find me a little tv on sale and then i gotta find a clothing rack because we're going to get it together. It's going to be real cute. I kind of want to do a bar cart over here. But for now, <laughs> this is the babe cave. We have a long way to go. We have a lot of stuff to buy for this area. But this is, this is our space. This is our space. We can come up here. We can create. We can cry. We can vent. We can talk. We can chat. We can do lives. We can do everything up here. But enough from rambling, besties. Welcome to the vlog. And let's get into the video only mommy can cry up here no babies can cry up here because if babies start crying up here they going downstairs <laughs> love y'all all right y'all so i'm closing my blind so i can get ready to head out i think by the time i get home the sun might be setting and y'all know once the sun starts setting you can kind of like see straight in and i mean i know i'm obsessed with the way this little area turned out even though it's not together yet i just love how it looks and nicole also hung these pictures for me y'all like oh i'm in love I'm so obsessed. <laughs> Y'all, I just got in the car. I'm outside of Ollie's. As soon as I was walking to the car, limping to the car, one of my bestie girls saw me, y'all. She was like, hey, do you do YouTube? And I was like, yes, ma'am. And she was telling me, she was like, I forgot I don't, I don't, forgot your name, but I know you have two sons. And I've seen y'all do y'all wash day routines and stuff. Like, I recognizing me i just i think it's it's insane y'all got a piece so bad i'm trying to see should i go home or should i try to go ahead and swing and get the, the dinner before i go home i gotta pee i do not want to use no public bathroom i gotta pee so bad okay it's six o'clock let me get myself together okay y'all i told y'all i was having a very overwhelming day so I went to Ollie's, came out of Ollie's, seen one of my besties, was in a good mood, called my husband, asked him what he want for dinner. He was like, he'll pick some up on his way because they decided to take the boys downtown to go to the park after they left the YMCA, so they'll be home in like an hour. He was like, I want you to go get whatever you want for dinner. I want you to go home, soak, take a bath, relax yourself. So I'm at Zaxby's picking up my favorite meal, number five. Why do y'all work in the general public if you're going to have an attitude? Like, girl, don't piss me off. Because I'm just here trying to give me a kick and chicken meal. Like, being so smart and so nasty. Like, girl, if you're in a bad mood, clock out. Hey, thank you. You too. 
I've worked in the fast food industry before, baby. I ain't not finna have no attitude with these folks. Cause what, for what? Like, what the hell? This is what I ended up getting from Zaxby's. I got number five, um, the kicking chicken sandwich, but I don't get tongue torture cause I hate hot stuff. And then I got me a little funnel cake and a Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna sit here, eat Coco in the garage eating. So after Coco finished eating, I'm gonna take her outside, let her use the bathroom. I'm gonna put her in her cage and then I'm gonna go take me a bath. I'm gonna take a shower first, then I'm getting my bathtub because I need to relax. Like, I've been so freaking overwhelmed. And I also need to edit some stuff tonight too, so. Wait for the boys to get home, feed them, put them in the tub. Let's get it, let's go. Mom life never stops. <laughs> I wanna taste this funnel cake. Cause not Zaxby's got funnel cakes. Mmm. It's good. It came with some caramel sauce. I'm gonna try it. Ooh, it's thick. Why is it so thick? Mm -hmm. My brother-in-law said he might come over tonight, so I'm gonna call him and see what he at. This tastes like the caramel that be in a little apple pack at Walmart. But this is good. Eight out of 10. It's jumping, actually. Hey, baby. Hey, besties. It's a little bit later. It's a lot later, actually. I think the last time I talked to y'all, it was like 7 o'clock, maybe 6.30, 7 o'clock. It is 1.28 in the morning. And I'm up because I had to do my hair. I had some promos to do. This wig is so cute, y'all. Let me show y'all. Look how long this is. It's 30 inches. <laughs> I fear that Amanda hair ate down real bad on his hair because it's like the curtain bangs and it was pre-curled. Can you imagine having a curled 30 inch hair? Mm -mm. It was pre-curled, everything. The only thing I did was touch it up in front. I'm obsessed. So I filmed some wig content and the boys was in a room, but obviously they came to our room. They still don't sleep in their room all night. So the boys ain't here now. I'm in the bathroom. I still got an iron CJ clothes for work. And I'm gonna go take me a shower right quick, bookie boo. So I'm gonna see y'all when I get out of the shower. I had to make a quick little beat. Like I was in full on content mode. Y'all know the vibes. But I will see y'all in a bit. Let me go take a shower. Good morning, besties. I did not come back and talk to y'all when I got out the shower. Unless, I don't think so. I don't really remember the last thing we did, okay? Sorry, I'm looking up. My neighbor just got a camera installed in his backyard. And now it's kind of throwing me off because, like, what if I be outside doing yoga? You're going to see me. You're going to see me. He's actually getting two installed. And my house is kind of, like, at the bottom of the hill and his is at the top. And not only that, he's the police, he's the sheriff. I don't want him, mm -mm. So it's giving, never gonna be able to do yoga in the backyard. If you ain't did it by nine, won't get, won't happen. <laughs> but okay, y'all, I'm up. My brother-in-law came over this morning and I'm so glad he did because I had some humongous packages got delivered. It is the furniture for the babe cave, the beauty room, art space. So I just cleaned up my room. Got yeah, everything all speak and span. Y'all know how I like it. So, I'm um, standing. I'm standing at the bottom of the staircase. And I'm wondering how are we going to get all these boxes up there. But when there's a wheel, there is a way. <laughs> we made it! Ah! Mm -hmm. Hey, bestie girls. Y'all, I haven't talked to y'all since last night. Um, honestly, I just had a lot of stuff going on. I was super behind on edits for my UGC company and I had to stay up, play catch up. So I didn't really get to catch up with y'all, but what, I, I, be, I, don't, I haven't learned the light switches in this house yet. Okay, I haven't. <clears throat> but what I want to tell y'all is, so oh, this morning, <laughs> my husband gets up at like, I don't know, six o'clock for work. So, you know, 6.15, he come waking me up. Want some yoga. I'm like, with the vibes, cool, I'm ready, you know? <laughs> Boom, yoga over. Kids, stay asleep. I gotta take me a shower and get back in my bed. My mom called me at 8.39, she's like, you still in the bed? I'm like, yeah, the kids still sleep, so I'm, I'm sleeping in too. Okay, 
my husband calls me at like 8.58. He's like, babe, we need to go get our new military IDs. My husband is not active duty anymore. He's a retiree, so we have to have those IDs. So I'm like, okay, cool. He's like, but walk in, stop at 11 o'clock. So we got to go like ASAP. I'm getting off work already. They're going to let me have the day to handle my business. So be ready in 20 minutes. How are you going to tell me to be ready in 20 minutes for a ID photo? Like, I didn't have time. All thing I had time to do was put on some lip gloss. Okay, we get there. We literally have to wait like two hours <laughs> before they finally call us to the back to take our photo. He goes first, they print out his ID. I'm like, why does it look like there's a filter on their camera and it's a bad filter? So now I'm scared. So I'm like, oh my God, please don't make me look too bad. Why do I look like Michael Jackson in my photo? Like, why do I look like MJ, look like I'm gonna say hee hee in my photo? Like what? <laughs> my skin and complexion off. My nose literally looks like this y'all. Like. Who is that? It. Who is that in that photo? Cause it's, it's not me. Like, so we got home and we assembled the other nightstand, which I'm finna take y'all and see them 10 out of 10. A lot of people was asking for the links to the nightstands, but I was like, I'm gonna wait until they're assembled so I can really tell y'all if they like a yay or nay. If you have a big space and you need like space filler nightstands, these are the ones. On the box, it actually says dresser, but on the box it actually says dresser but literally they're so big like they're big so i love them i'm gonna show y'all also coco's breeder um texted me today and she wanted to come see coco and she, i was asking her for like she asked me for some pictures she just wanted to check in on coco and so i sent her some pictures somebody told me to start looking at my lens and not my viewfinder so i'm gonna look at the lens if it looks like i'm looking back and forth i am but I was asking her like for some recommendations on like what kind of shampoo and brushes and stuff she used for the pups. And she sent me some recommendations, but she was like, I'm just gonna bring you some of what I use. You can try it if you like it. Here's what I buy it. So she bought it and it smells so good, y'all. But yeah, after she left, we got this nice sand symbol. Let me show y'all. Like when I say I'm obsessed with these nice sands, literally, they are so beautiful. They're so big so gorgeous they feel the space so much these are my old nightstands and you can just tell from the size literally you can see just how much bigger those are they're still white with gold hardware and i love them so much so the link to these will be in my little bio thing that'll be linked in my description you can find them there this is the mirror that i told y'all about the other day that came i did not love it the other day but i'm kind of starting to love it i love just the whole gold aesthetic. I just love everything. Ignore my perfume right there. I sat it right there yesterday and never moved it. And I have an appointment with the guy who mounted my TVs because in my old apartment, my plugs were up high. So the cords were hidden. Well, here the cords are down low. So I have an appointment for him to move my plugs up so that this can be hidden because he told me that if I put like a wire hider thing on my wall, it's gonna like take the top layer of my wall off if I ever wanna move it, which is true because it did that in my apartment. So we're just gonna leave that for now. He's gonna come fix that next week for me. In my bathroom, um, I haven't really done anything different in here. I mean, I don't really plan on doing too much in here. Not me, comfy, pants, unbuttoned, everything. But I don't really plan on doing too much in here. Same little towel setup. Um, I got my little tray, my little pumpus, not too much. My shower door is so dirty. So I think I showed y'all already my gold squeegee. So we gonna use this later. I did assemble this cute laundry basket, y'all. And I love it because it has like two slots. So you can do dark and then your white stuff. So cute. And then that is my, what it is? My bathtub tray thing that I got from my registry. So honestly, I have some pictures that I kind of want to hang right here and I might do it. And then again, I literally might not. Somebody was like, Zari, when are you going to give us a house tour? By the time I give y'all a house tour, y'all literally going to know like what the main parts of my house look like because I can't keep it from y'all. When it comes to the beauty room or the babe cave, whatever we gonna call it y'all, I went up there, my couch came yesterday. I told y'all my couch came. I have not unboxed it yet, but I did move the other piece of my vanity upstairs cause it came like the mirror piece and everything. So tomorrow my husband said he gonna finish assembling that. Tonight 
We're gonna go up there and we're gonna try to get the couch together. I don't really think it's too much to it besides like screwing on like the little leg parts. So that won't be too hard. Too hard, but I need to have the babe cave in some kind of order by sun in some kind of order by Sunday because my best friend Jave and then my best my new friend um and then I've talked about her before. Her name is Alexis. We're from the, like the same area. We've never seen each other in person. We literally just communicate like through social media. Um, both of us doing like stay at, stay at home mom content and just navigating in this messy little city that absolutely despises of people who do not work but still have income essentially. Like I don't know why they're so oppressed by people getting married young and people having nice things young. Like it, people in this little city, it boils, it just boils them. Like it boils them to their core, but who cares? Anyways, we were just talking last night about um, just how we want to go out to this little like club thingy in our city that for the longest, everybody thought it was like a hole in a wall, super dead, nobody went there. Well, apparently they have like hip hop, which I'm calling it black people night, hip hop Thursdays and people go, and like it's really been looking fun like on the internet like people have been posting it it's really been looking fun i'm a mom she's a mom and so i texted her and Jave, and i was like do y'all want to go to black people night at the place on <laughs> black people night is insane but do y'all want to go to it on thursday because it's on thursday nights and then my husband's grandma is coming over on thursday so i was like we can pre-game at my house and then pre-game meaning take some shots at my house because who is buying them high alcoholic drinks i'm not and the only thing i need is two or three shots and then y'all already know i'm tipsy talking and i'm ready to mm -hmm. okay so i was like we can pre-game at my house and then we can just go so i don't know if Alexis is going to be able to go um i don't i think maybe java is going to be able to go and then my sister so we're going to see what happens thursday is tomorrow so even if we do go i gotta make sure i have something to wear so i need to find me something to wear tonight but that's that so i asked them if they want to come over and do like a tipsy q a with me on sunday because i've been wanting to put out some new content for y'all and alexis she has a youtube channel i feel like you know it can obviously help grow her youtube channel get her some traction and new followers to her account so i was like let's just do it and so that's what we're planning for for this sunday so i have to get the beauty room in some kind of order before then so that is that but i'm gonna cook some beef tips and homemade mashed potatoes the time is currently 6 11 so that means my mama is off she'll be here any moment baby because one thing about this lady she gonna come over every single day when she get off work so she'll be over here soon cj's grandma oh CJ's grandma is also on the way over here. She wants to see the boys before she goes to work because she's working night shift tonight. So she gonna come hang out for a few hours before she gotta go to work. And while they're here, I'm gonna run to Target because I need to pick up some toilet paper and toilet paper and some more of Coco's little chicken dog food that she eats. It's by the brand Fresh Pet and it's like, you keep, you keep it in the fridge. She really likes it and she's doing really good on it. So I need to get her some more of that. So, yeah when the breeder was here she was like oh my god she is so big she babysat another one of the puppies from the litter and she was telling me how much bigger coco is than that puppy and i'm like oh my god like am i overfeeding her she's like no she's she looks completely healthy she's just a really big girl but that's that good morning besties it's the next morning y'all so i ended up having to go and well have cj go get me a new sd card because i ran out of space yesterday so i really didn't get to finish vlogging yesterday afternoon and talking to y'all but it really wasn't too much going on anyways so my mom my sister cj grandma came over and my mama and sister been procrastinating on booking their spot for the bahamas trip and yesterday i had to like get on them like is my lash coming off i had to get on them like hello everybody's already booked y'all are the only two who haven't booked so they finally booked and i'm so excited i wish it was closer because we don't go until november but it is what it is um i've been telling y'all that i want to go to new york city for the longest and so this morning my husband um my husband was like babe i want you to find us I want you to get a whole itinerary together for New York City because I want to go just me and you. So we're going to try to plan it around the time that his grandma is off because she's like the only family member that we have who actually has like 
three consecutive days off my mama never does and so we're gonna wait until she has some time off and she's gonna watch the boys for us and we're gonna go to new york city i'm gonna try i want to try to go in april but that might be a stretch so yeah we'll probably try in may so we'll probably leave on a thursday and come back on a sunday so if you guys have ever been in new york new york and you got some recommendations on fun stuff to do let me know but yeah that's that y'all so today is wednesday no today is thursday so my mom's actually off today so she's probably going to be coming over soon it is currently 7 45 so cj just left for work like 20 minutes ago so the boys are still in bed and i'm just up doing what i do talking to y'all cleaning up getting th getting things ready for the day i just washed up a few weeks that i have to ship off today so i actually texted my sister and my best friend last night and i was like are we still going out tomorrow night because if we are i need to plan like anytime i get ready to step out i always gotta like plan i spend the whole day planning so i gotta figure out how i'm gonna do my hair which i'm getting ready to do my hair for a collab anyway so my hair will be done i gotta figure out what i'm gonna wear and like what's the weather for the night i don't know let's check and see because like i don't want to be overdressed or underdressed so it's gonna be let's see girl for the night my, my best friend says she usually goes at like nine o'clock so at nine o'clock it's gonna be 68 degrees which is not terrible so i can do pants i can do shorts with boots i can do a lot of stuff so now the thing is just to go on pinterest and buy some outfit inspo and just figure out what i want to want to wear it's not a super dressy spot like it's a super chill spot on top of that it's a thursday night so you ain't gotta get like met gala fly but i still want to look cute so i gotta find me something to wear i'm gonna call my sister in a little bit i'm pretty sure she's still sleeping but i'm gonna call her and see what she's wearing i'm definitely bringing y'all with me tonight because y'all never get to see me go outside y'all always see me in the house being a wife and a mom but like i told y'all before before i was a wife and a mom i was still just me and i'm still just me it's okay for me to step out sometimes and have a good time with my girls and that's what i'm gonna be doing tonight um i was going to i was gonna have everybody come to my house we could like pre-game have little shots i told y'all that and then i could just get my husband to drop us off and pick us up but um cj's grandma actually has to work tonight she's coming over uh she said at six she's gonna just sit here for a few hours before she goes to work with the boys which i thought she didn't have to work so i thought you know she could stay over a little bit later and cj could come pick me up and she could watch the boys so he didn't have to bring the boys out but that's not the case so it's giving one drink max tonight only one drink because i don't play that drinking and driving and i'll probably have my one drink as soon as i get there so by my little hour and a half that i stay there by the time i get ready to go i'll be good and sober and ready to drive so i don't play that baby very responsible so that's that but i'm excited y'all i'm super excited actually so yeah enough chatting enough rambling i'm gonna go ahead and get the boys up and then we're gonna do our little skincare and we're gonna get ready for the day hey babes i have not talked to y'all since this morning y'all so as soon as i got the boys up and as we was walking in the room to do our morning time routine my best friend texted me and it was a reminder that today was the last day to register the kids for kindergarten she had told me last week the dates and when i tell y'all it went in one ear not the other like i completely forgot it's march you know i'm thinking i got a while you know school don't start to august you know i got a while apparently not so i had to rush get us dressed because this morning the only thing i was planning on doing today was work i had like three wigs i wanted to do i had so much stuff i needed to do didn't need to do nothing so i had to get us dressed we headed out and i don't know if i told y'all not but the tent on cj's truck was so dark it was two layers of five percent tent i was driving had to drive with all the windows down at 11 o'clock during the day i could not see anything i called him and i was like babe this is not safe you need to get this off and you need to get it off asap because if i can't see i know you can't see so he went into the truck got it off the man said it was two layers of five percent tent and he got him tinted down to 35 because it was so dark like when the windows are up it looks like it's 10 p.m like it was crazy so got that done but i took carter got him registered for school y'all why did it take two hours i was there for two hours and 32 minutes 
it was it was crazy it was crazy it took forever so it is currently 5 32 and my mama just left and she's about to get ready to go to work so me my sister and my friend are supposed to go out tonight. My friend said the place is like 21 up and my sister is 20. So I'm trying to figure out like, what are we gonna do? Because, what? But I'm, I've been so freaking stressed out y'all. When I got home, I did some edits for my UGC company and that was pretty much it. Like I've been busy today. But I'm gonna put my charger, my camera on charger for a few minutes because I do need to film a wig video. But I hate to see this wig go. This is the Amanda wig, y'all. And like, let me show you. Like, look. It's 30 inches. And it is just so long. It's so pretty. And y'all know I don't even like frontals. But it's a frontal and like, I'm just totally feeling all the vibes from it. Like, I really wish I could wear it tonight, but I gotta do my hair. So let me go ahead and pick out this wig, see which wig we finna do, cause we gotta get on it. All right, let's see, y'all. We said we was leaving at nine o'clock. Why is it ten seventeen? Uh, I was gonna say. This who was super freaking late. Not me, y'all. Say hi. hi. It's the shyness for me. Good. Go ahead. On. Let me show y'all my little outfit. That is cute. That's cute. It's very simple. I ain't want to do too much, you know. <laughs> y'all yeah. told him I'm hungry. I really want to go to Walker House. I wish it wasn't so weird to bring like a camera into the club. Is it even a club? What is it? A hole in the wall? A hole in the wall. <laughs> I'm gonna film on my phone, but I'm gonna put Coco where we finna go. Y'all, everybody supposed to be taking a shot. I broke one of my shot glasses and I only had three, so. Why they need a chaser for Hennessy though? I literally think that's crazy. What, what do you need a shot, like a chaser for? Cause we all the girls on your hand. Yeah. We I'm just young for this hand, though. Let, let me, let me get my, my view, cause y'all playing. I need to put my nail on temporarily. Friend, and I was gonna my put me. appointment in the morning. Who do? Well, in the afternoon. I was gonna put me some press on, on, but I ain't even. I ain't even get a chance. You up on the other side? Yeah. Well, I was Yeah, this humongous chaser for one little shot of Hennessy is absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kim. <laughs> I already left in the video. I, like, I ain't never pictured this day can't so you're taking a shot. I know, cause he's be like, get out. Okay. Y'all ready? How you yeah. do it? You do boom, 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 and boom. Okay, come on. Okay. okay. Oh my god. <laughs> The gulps are insane. I like to lay mine, stay in my mouth. Mm. Mm -mm. I like to taste mine. Mm -mm. Oh, no. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna check that cognac. <laughs> Cheeseburger, do you want to add bacon? Yeah. Milk. Add bacon. No, no milk. milk. How we come to Sonic and they don't have no chili? So you want a Super Sonic bacon cheeseburger? Oh, wait. Uh, a Super Sonic? No. I just want the Sonic cheeseburger add bacon. A Super Sonic is crazy. <laughs> a Super is silly. Anything else? The cheeseburger $7. Um, God damn. That'll be it. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Let's see. Hot pictures. Come okay. on, girl. You don't want to take no photos? Sure. Who is the head on the photos? Yeah, we finna take some pictures. Some lip gloss. It is 1240. And we did Jeff, your wish you crate. You know? Girl, yes, in all type of places. <laughs> <laughs> we finna take some pictures, y'all. I came here to get a damn Coney dog. They talking about they ain't got no chili. Well, it shut down then. That's y'all main attraction. Mm -hmm. Shut down. <laughs> y'all, we had a good time. 
Like, I ain't know the little hole in the wall in our city was jumping like that. Mm, jumping like joy. But it's so weird when you go out in your city and you see people that you know, that you talk to, like, ew. Don't touch me, Roach. <laughs> Come on. How are we gonna do it? Like the cheetah girls? <laughs> I mean, I don't the... know. This is so crazy. Look at these folks. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I how to know. Know. I don't know. Y'all, I got me a cheeseburger and I said I don't want no ultra big back sunny burger. Mm -hmm. Oh, I surely didn't. Ew. Uh, it's probably going to help. They call it mayo and ketchup. Oh, I can do mayo and ketchup. And onions and lettuce and tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> that was a little That's Ew. exceeding. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh-uh, say the prayer. Oh. It's on you. Me? Jesus. Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lord God. Thank you for this night out with my friend and my little sister. I just ask that you help us, help us get home, Lord God. Guide us, Lord God. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. I am at home, and it is currently 1.28. I'm going to get in the shower because y'all know the rides. It's so smoky in that place. Like, I got to take me a shower. I really want to take this wig off as well because um it's smoky. How the freak am I gonna get out of this shirt? I already had a time getting in it. Oh, I think nothing's gonna happen on no, Pepin. No. He thinks it's very it's very, it's just basically a political thing. Um, go sit down. And we're in an election. We're seeing big brands signing on, doing you know TikTok shop. We do a lot of that now. We're seeing all of that happen, and it's. It's so it's like it would take a lot for it to to go away. Yo, so I don't even know. I think I'm gonna get this car, y'all. Like it's so cute. If I was, I built this car several times more on their website. Like I built this car. Are you doing your? Are you doing a what's in that? Oh yeah, yeah. It got the red good. Ah! Got the big screen. This is what I wanted. See, they had. Like some cheaper used ones in like Birmingham, but it had a small screen. Like my old car, I don't want that. I wanted the big one. It's so cute. Fresh out the truck. Good morning, y'all. It's the next morning. We finna go to a yard sale. We were supposed to get up at five o'clock. Didn't even get up that early. It's 7.30. And like, we gotta go. We're gonna miss the good stuff. CJ didn't want to get up, so I'm taking my brother. He always down to go. <laughs> You gonna drive or I'm driving? Okay. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped at a yard sale and it didn't look like they have having this. So we drove off and the little boy was at his lemonade stand waiting for us and everything. I feel bad. <laughs> hey besties, I'm back at home from the yard sale. Fun fact, going to yard sales early on Saturday morning is something that me and CJ both love to do. But like in California, I told you it's just a weird place, weird vibes. We don't know the vibes. We don't know what's what. So we never did it. But I got a few things. So let me show y'all. So from one yard sale that I went to, they had books, like kid books for 50 cent. And so I ended up getting four books. Basically for Carter, because Kayla doesn't know how to read yet. I got these two vases, y'all. These are just like the ones that I already have in my room with the pompous. Except for these are a little bit smaller. And I think I'm going to put both of these on my nightstands. So cute. These was $5 a piece and the books was 50 cent. And I went to another yard sale and they had all of these Old Navy jeans, y'all. Old Navy or Fashion Nova is where I get all of my jeans. And I was just adding jeans to my cart last night on Old Navy because they had 50% off. Well, if you look at these, they're like basically brand new. And they're like all Old Navy. They ain't raggedy. They ain't stained up. So these were five dollars. Um, these were five dollars, and then I got two pair, no three pair. That was two dollars. I thought these little green ones were so cute with the holes in them. And these are Rockstar style jeans, my favorite style from Old Navy. Got another pair of Rockstars, and then these are from the Loft brand. 
So I'm gonna try these on to see if I can fit them, but that's everything I found at the yard. Oh, I got a bookshelf to go in my beauty room. Um, it's a little bit raggedy, but it was $5, so I was like, yeah, it's $5. If I have to throw it away, I just have to throw it away, but I'm gonna get it. So yeah, I'm gonna try these jeans on. We can make some food. Yeah, I'll be back. Besties, I feel like I haven't really like talked to y'all. I just finished exporting some footage and I literally started crying because so much of my footage from this vlog has gotten deleted. I've called Sony. My camera is having a terrible overheating problem. So I have called Sony. I'm gonna either have to just pay to get the camera fixed or just get a new camera. So I don't really know which option I'm leaning more towards right now, but I'm just so frustrated, y'all. So yesterday I I was in a I was in my dream car and I showed y'all. And I was saying like, oh my God, I'm probably gonna get it today. Well, originally when I got there, they said they want sixty thousand for the car. Sixty thousand was doable for me. Was doable for me. Well, they ended up being like, oh, the number's wrong. Out the door, you're gonna be looking at seventy five. And then they was like, you could lease it, and it was just putting me over where I want it to be per month. And if it doesn't make sense financially for me, I'm not gonna do it because. When I got my Honda, I literally have a 2.9% interest rate. I'm not going to, like, the lowest interest rate I could get was 8 because the interest rates are just up right now like crazy. And then it was going to have my payment in between eleven and $1,500 per month depending on, like, what interest rate I actually got, how many months I chose to finance for. And I'm just not willing to pay $1,500 nothing for a car it was perfect it had the red guts the ambient lighting the big screen the panoramic sunroof it was perfect my husband was like let's get it let's just pay half of it finance the other half and I'm like I don't want to do that like I don't want to do that because it just doesn't make sense financially for us right now so I was kind of a little bit sad that I didn't get it it's not that I couldn't get it it's that I chose to walk away you gotta know your limits and you gotta know when to walk away don't bite off more than you can chew just to say oh I'm driving a 2024 AMG um, Benz like no no I wasn't gonna do it and that truck girl it was raining really bad yesterday CJ had to pull over so when he pulled over he just so happened to pull into a dealership which happened to be the Mercedes dealership and this car the car was literally being unloaded like it was being unloaded and he called me he was like babe they have this car that you want up here and I really want you to have it I'm gonna come get you we're gonna come look at it and I got there I loved it and everything but when we got to talking the numbers it just wasn't making sense and I I feel good about knowing that I didn't put my family in a strain for a car like the whole purpose of us like moving and getting away from the big states and stuff is to be financially like savvy and save more money not blow it all on my car per month you know when I get ready to go to Target and do a random Target trip I want to be able to afford that and not have to worry about my car note being $1,500 so it just didn't make sense financially I'm frustrated about my camera my phone the devil just been busy but it's saturday it's a beautiful day first things first i'm gonna go get us some food i'm gonna bring the food here and then i'm gonna i'm gonna leave i'm gonna go grocery shopping because i need to pick up some stuff the house is giving very much so empty after i go grocery shopping i need to go to ulta so buckle up besties before we go thank you lord for this day as i get ready to leave lord i pray that you keep me safe let me make it to my destination safely and back to this house safely lord in the name of jesus we pray amen amen let's go baby. all right besties i picked up the food i took the food home and i headed on out because the commissary closed at 5 30 i think and it's 4 25 so i don't have long so i just made it here and of course i'm outside on tiktok looking up dinner ideas for black people because tiktok just got them ideas like why the hell they want to ban tiktok ban i don't know snapchat like tiktok are you kidding me it's so educational like no but i got me a few dinner ideas so i'm finna run in here what the heck is he what the fuck argue with your mama not with me this is the best one of them all this comes to be so empty baby i love it all right besties done grocery shopping and i just made it over to ulta so i know i need to restock on my brightness serum i need to restock on my toner i should have checked before i left home but i'm gonna get the toner the brightness serum probably the oil and i don't know what else we're gonna get but let's just go in here y'all told me to try this cleansing bar and it's only five dollars so i'm gonna try this cleansing bar and i also think i want to try this um exfoliating powder 
I don't know. I'm gonna look it up on TikTok to see what the girl is saying about it, but we're gonna see. Okay, the reviews on that pineapple powder was kind of bad, so we're gonna get this instead. Y'all, so I'm in Ulta. Why would they come in to my surprise? Don't crash in on my Ulta trip. We took them to five below. Now I'm finna put the boys in the big blue cheese. <laughs> so CJ can drive them home. I wanted to go to Hobby Lobby, but since my boys then popped up on me, it's looking like go home. All right, besties, back at home. Got the groceries in. I was gonna do a grocery haul, but like, I don't even think I wanna see that. I mean, do y'all care what I be eating? But I am gonna show y'all when I finish cleaning out this fridge. A lot of people ask me to do like a review video on this fridge, so I feel like that's something that I might need to look into doing because I got a lot of requests for it. It's not that bad, but you can definitely tell it's got a little unorganized. <laughs> Why we got this in here? <laughs> I don't know, child, but after how I'm feeling today, I might need me a shot or two. But yeah, I need to take these milk things out because I need to clean these out, and we just gonna get it together. So, yeah. I made sure to get some lunch meat because Last week was my husband's second week of work, and I felt like he ate out every day except for two days. Like, yeah, so I'm gonna make sure I have some stuff to pack his lunch. I'm gonna try to do my nails tonight with my little press on kit because I don't have a nail tech here yet. And as y'all can tell, they definitely giving bit off and ugly, so I need to get these something done to them, even if it's just a press on. But we're gonna put these grocery away. And now I'll be back. And I saw another reason why I'm not I'm not doing a grocery haul is because my camera has one battery lift like one little notch so i don't know y'all somebody give me some camera recommendations as much as i do not want to buy a new camera right now it's giving you're gonna have to so let me know but i'm gonna put this stuff up i'll be back it's like 11 18 and i just feel so overwhelmed i'm so irritated first of all hold on i'm so irritated about like all of my vlog footage going missing my camera and the problems that my camera have and the problems that i'm having with my phone like it's just one thing after another and it's like really starting to like just tear on my mental but we're gonna take a deep breath because it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay every i mean i don't think it's i'm gonna hit my hour-long vlog this week because of all the camera problems the vlogs or the videos deleting like it's just been a lot y'all like look at my lashes I done peeled them off. My nails are gone. Like, I don't know. I'm a little frustrated, but I want to give out a little Ulta haul from earlier. I did get a few things. So I ended up trying some new products for the month simply because I'm just totally obsessed with Good Molecules and not one of their products have let me down yet. So I was like, I'm gonna try some new stuff. So I ended up getting the Hydrating Facial Cleansing Gel. So I'm excited to get in the shower and try this out tonight. I restocked on my exfoliating toner. And then I also restocked on my daily brightness serum. And I really feel like this has just brightened my skin up. I've been using it for about 30 days now. Yeah, probably a little bit more than 30 days. And I really feel like it's really brightening my skin up and just like really pulling out that glow in me. Like I'm really feeling it. A lot of y'all recommended this product. It's only $5. It's the clarifying or the clarify and cleanse bar. And yeah, so I'm excited to try this. Let me see how it looks. Uh, yeah mm, it smells it smells good i like it smells plain like plain oatmeal i like it i'll probably do this how i do my glycolic not my glycolic like like i do my kojic acid soap i slice it instead of just using the whole bar so i'll probably like slice it into pieces so it'll last me longer so i'm excited to try out these new products and then i also restocked on my oil this little oil that i use i don't really know how you say it but that's the oil that I use. And then I try one new, one more new product and it's this Wake Up Eye Gel. Never had this before, but sometimes in the morning under my eyes be a little bit puffy and it's mainly because I do not be getting enough sleep. So I was like, let me try it. And then this NYX gloss was on sale for $4. It's called This Is Juice Gloss. It says it's infused with something. I don't really know, but I grabbed it because it was $4. And let me see if I like it. If I like it, I'm gonna go ahead and get me some more flavors. Mm, I don't know. So far, it feels pretty basic. Girl, I don't know. Okay, 
also had ran over to Hobby Lobby and I had saw like a really cute tray in there and it was supposed to be 50% off because it was in the 50% off section but when I got to the front the girl was like it's gonna be the price that's on the sticker and it was $32 and I wasn't paying $32 for it because I didn't want to I wanted to pay half off so I just ended up getting these two bases i got a two a two a, like i got two of them so this one was only 5.99 y'all can see that 5.99 and if you know you know these little bases are so freaking expensive so when i saw it for 5.99 i was like hmm. so it had it has the um the word gift on it i don't know if you can see like this and it was 9.99 so we're gonna have to find these a home and then yeah i'm gonna open up my little bamboo bathtub tray that i got on my registry from one of my besties because tonight i'm gonna take me a good shower then i'm gonna get in my tub and just soak relax get my mind together because it's been in shambles and i'm gonna drink me some wine just to really relax <laughs> all right besties i wanted to bring y'all up here to show y'all the babe cave cj some kind of way put the mirror on upside down so i look a mess so he gonna go back and fix this but I love it. The lights on it so bright. You know, uh, the lights not even on in here. It's only the light on the vanity. So I really like the lights. Um, I wish that I knew the lights didn't go across the bottom. Um, I probably would have paid a little bit extra for the one where the lights go across the bottom, but I didn't think like that was the difference between the five ninety nine one and the six ninety nine one. But I think that it was. Let me show y'all. This is the bottom of the vanity. Like I said, it's just upside down. So it's no lights on the bottom. But I mean, yeah. So once it's flipped right, these will be up top and that part will be down below. They had another version and it was $100 more and it has lights all the way around. If I would've knew that, I probably would've just paid the extra 100 to have the lights all the way around. But it is what it is. I really like it. It has like a display area. So you can put your jewelry in here real cute or your skincare, makeup, whatever. Super, super, super pretty. And it's glass. So I'm happy to get some glass cleaner up there and clean this off. And then y'all already know, I'm going to change this hardware. I'm going to change, change these little knobs out. I'm already looking on Amazon at some gold ones. So yeah, I'm trying to see where I can put my perfume like up here. Because I know like in these big drawers, I'm probably going to put my hair tools, my hot stuff. And then like makeup. I don't have a ton of makeup, but what I do got going to go in here. But like, could I display some of my perfume right here? It's going to look too cluttered. I don't want it to look cluttered. And then I got to go out and find me a cute little vanity chair. And yeah, this rug ended up going perfect up here. Ignore the space, y'all. It looks a mess. There's stuff all in the floor, wigs, bags. Just ignore that. But this rug ended up going perfect up here. And then this is my little couch. It's a little smaller than I expected it to be, but it's okay. This is just a really big room. Like it's the biggest room in this house. So it's just really big. So I'm gonna have to do something else. Um, my bestie Alexis bought me a neon like with my real mommy TV so it'll go above this I'm gonna make it into like a pompous wall and then on um, this wall I'm thinking about doing like a TV over here and then I'll probably y'all see like what a wall like dents in right there I'll probably get like a clothing rack and like put those little hooks I don't know if y'all ever seen it on TikTok but they get like a little clothing wrap put hooks on it and then they like display like they wigs on there so like my current wig um projects will be on there we're gonna do it up piece by piece but for now it's what it's gonna be up here I just took my lashes off child I'm supposed to be editing this vlog I haven't done nothing so I'm gonna relax get in the tub relax because I'm tired my eyes itchy my allergies acting up lashes off giving raccoon around the eye like girl go to bed all right, besties, I'm running my bath. I don't know which one of my besties bought me this. I actually got two. I got this one and then I got this one. So this one don't extend, but this one does. I'm loving it. I'm gonna light me a candle. I'm gonna me a little bubble bath, all the vibes, and I'm gonna make me some wine. But before I get in this tub, I always take a shower first. So I'm gonna take a shower, and then I'm gonna get in here. Good morning, bestie girls. It is Sunday morning, so I just got us up, got us dressed. CJ going to play basketball right now. I just got off the phone with my granny, and I was telling her that I was talking to the car salesman. 
And I told him like where I want to be monthly. Y'all know I've been wanting the GLC for a good minute. It's going to be between a C300 and GLC 300. But I really want a GLC. Like I, that's what I really want. And so he actually sent me some pictures this morning. They got a blacked out um c300 with the red interior that's gonna be coming off the truck on tuesday and it's right where i want to be monthly or whatever but the thing about it is I, like i don't want to settle i do not want to settle and it's not like i don't really know i don't know i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna give myself until june I'm not, I'm not in a rush. Like, nothing's wrong with my car. It's just a goal that I have this year. Y'all know I put it on my vision board. I'm going to give myself until June. And I'm going to see how much I can make and how much I can save. Because I want to pay at least half cash. Do I want to do that, though? I don't know. I'm just frustrated. Like, I'm frustrated. And then I just had to make an appointment for my car. I told y'all my car is always doing weird stuff. Yesterday, when I went to base, the freaking noise, I told y'all, it sounds like a school bus. It's accelerated. Like the noise is so loud. And I don't know if it's my, the man said it's not my brakes. I got it looked at before we left San Diego. It's not the brakes. They don't know what it is. It's just frustrating me. Like it's, it's frustrating me. My Nana was like, let's get up one day. Let's ride to Georgia, like the Atlanta area. Let's see what they have over there. And yeah, so I don't know. Cause my grandma know I'm not, I'm not big on going like places alone or whatever and i kind of have to do like car business like that during the week because on the weekend the banks be closed or closing early and everything so the goal is for me is going to be to get me a new car by june i want one by june so yeah today's agenda is pretty simple at two o'clock the girlies at 2 o'clock, the girlies are coming over. Lex, Jave, Cam, we're going to do a sit-down video. And then I'm going to make Lex? dinner. I'm going to make dinner. And I already cleaned up pretty much. Only thing I need to do is fold a load of laundry. But I'm going to make some yeah. dinner. And, child, we're going to start our nighttime routine early. I'm going to get into bed early today. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Ain't nothing going on. Not too much. Um, we're going to get ready to run upstairs to the babe cave because I'm going to get ready to clean up up there because we're doing our sit-down video up there. CJ still has not fixed my vanity yet, so it's still upside down, but let's go up there anyways. All right, besties, we are upstairs. Y'all, Coco has never been up here, so she literally, she's literally on me acting scary. Like, she's in unfamiliar territory. Look at her. <laughs> she's never been upstairs. Say hi. Say hi, bestie on us. She's a sweet girl. But she bite. My mom calling me. Trouble connecting to the internet. Hello. For more info. Hey. What up, ma? She she didn't answer. Well. All right, bestie girls, that's gonna be it and all for this video. Well, I, I, would you leave the the pot alone? Y'all, yeah, yeah, I gotta go. It's what. Go play. It's one o'clock. I gotta get ready to head out. We finna go on a little ice cream date with my mom. I gotta pick up some stuff for the girlies for our little video we finna do. And we finna get it on and popping. I love y'all. Next week, I promise I'm gonna be more consistent. I see all the comments and I still haven't even responded to the comments from the last vlog. I've been a very busy, busy girl, but I think April should be better. Um, I have been a very but, busy, busy boy. I love y'all. Thank y'all for always showing up for me, supporting me and my dreams, not being upset when I don't respond to my comments because sometimes I just like to be life and I be supposed to do it and then I don't get to do it. Like I really appreciate all the love, all of the just the positive words. I just appreciate y'all. I love you guys. I'll see y'all in a few days, besties, because I'm going to try to give y'all two vlogs next week. I'm going to try two videos at least. At least. I love y'all. Good night, babes. It's not nighttime. I love y'all. Bye, besties. <laughs>